Okay, so I just got to the boat. Julia's working today. Um, she's gonna be around later, but for now, I'm all by myself. So what I wanna do today is try to install the cleats and the railing standoffs and the windlass, get the windlass all mounted and stuff. Get all the hardware done and the hoss pipes in the front. Get all the hardware on so then we can tape out the boat and then finish painting. Okay, so I just got back to the boat. I didn't really film anything when I was in West Marine because I kind of just ran in, got the stuff, and ran out. But I'll show you what I got. So, um, I got a bunch of screws. These are two inch screws, a quarter inch by two inch, and those are for the standoffs, like the, um, the railing posts where the little, I'll show you one sec, where these standoffs are gonna go underneath the railings. And so those are the bigger screws we needed because we couldn't use the old ones because now it's a bigger space. I got eight, they're called machine screws. They're just bolts with like a normal Phillips head on them. And these are for the cleats. I also picked up a wire stripper because I've always wanted one of these. It automatically strips the end of the wire for you. So I'm really excited about that too. One other thing that I wanted to show you is the reason we're getting, or we got new bolts is because um, for the cleats, I'll show you this bolt right here. It's been pretty badly corroded right there. Okay, so basically, I'm just gonna slide this in, make sure the holes line up. Is that good? Take some 5200. Okay, now let's go down below, put the nuts on. We're down here. So this one, the backing plate fell off, but I have it right next to me. I just gotta, I'll put the rest of these on. It's kind of awkward to do with. And no. Look who showed up. Yay! Okay, so I got all the standoffs done. One cleat is half done and the other cleat's not done. So I could really use Julia's help now. So we're gonna finish up the cleats and then put all the hoss pipes down and do all that. Eat some lunch. Eat some lunch first. So let's do that. <laughs> Okay, so the boat is literally such a mess. I figured I would just show you guys because this is what we're dealing with. There's stuff everywhere. Everywhere. I'm kind of freaking out inside, but sometime next week or this weekend, things are going to start looking up because we're going to start moving to the interior since we're almost wrapping up the decks i can't wait to get in here and just make it livable again because i'm actually dying inside yeah me too since we're racing the clock so much um 
Mitch's dad has been helping us out a ton. So this past Sunday, I had to go to my dad's for his birthday and he lives like an hour and a half away. So we were gone for the day and it was a beautiful day and we were so mad that we couldn't be on the boat working, but we're so grateful for Mitch's dad because he came onto the boat and painted on the wet edge. What the wet edge is, is pretty much, um, it lines the edges of the boat and it kind of like directs where the water will flow out. So on the back of the boat, there's two little drains. I'll go show you them. There's one here and then there's also one over there. So the wet edge kind of directs the water out, but it also looks super nice because it's this nice white glossy paint. So you can kind of tell like in the middle of this, walkway on the starboard side of the boat there it's like the primer and it's a little bit more yellow but the wet edge is super crisp and white you can see it over here and it leads all the way up and it kind of just surrounds all of the hardware and then goes around and goes back down um but the non-skid paint is what's going to be filling in the other parts but the wet edge looks really good and shout out to Mitch's dad for getting a go on that project while we were visiting my dad for his birthday. reinstalling the cleats so basically um, I'm putting bolts in from up here and then they go straight down through the decks into the top of the v-birth and Mitch is down there right now and he hi, hi. <laughs> he is putting bolts um, in on the underside so oh nuts sorry I put the balls in he put the nuts in and um we're just making sure they're super tight so the cleats can hold a lot of weight and pressure um so what i'm doing is is he's tightening the nuts then i'm taking this electric drill and it's kind of locking the um bolts in place so they don't move and they're nice and sturdy installing is the hoss pipes and the hoss pipes is what feeds the chain into the anchor chamber you have two and our chain actually just uses this little one Aww, this so cute. Chain uses. look at the difference in color this is the original paint color and then this is white the first coat makes such a difference it's so gross and it's so fresh so basically what we're putting in right now is our windlass switch and what this switch does is automatically run this little piece of hardware right here to get our anchor chain back in um, out of the sand so we're just reconnecting the little wires that go into the switch
Okay guys, so it's still a little bit messy, but, and we have some, you know, some little final touches and cleanups to do, but basically I'm just gonna let the 5200 dry. Um, we put all the hoss pipes back, which are these. So basically what happens is our chain comes in, gets fed through this side of the windlass and then wraps around, comes here and then goes into this hoss pipe, which goes right down to the chain locker. So we'll put the anchor back together, put all the chains back, put our secondary anchor back over here. Thank you guys for watching our video um i hope you guys learned something new i just wanted to mention before we go we're kind of getting our patreon up and running so you guys should definitely go check that out we have a lot of cool stuff on there behind the scenes maybe some merch for some people so definitely go click on that link down below and let us know what you think make sure to comment like subscribe and see you next time